fuels on, Mirrors off, bigger breakers are in, hydraulics are on, lights off, moving left. All right, we are clear there. Okay. Everything looks good, we'll move forward. If you're ever doing an auto rotation where you can only keep your head ah. in and just come straight in, you were working on just the edge of parameters where if you had any wind shift, yeah. now you can't make your spot, that type of thing. I see. Versus if you can have enough energy, excess energy, that you have to do a slip. In other words, again, that spot yep. that does not move up or down, if you have enough energy to make that spot, if it doesn't move up or down, that means you have more energy than necessary because what you can actually do is that's the point of the crash, but we're not going to crash, so we'd level off. Well, now we can glide further. Yeah. So that means we always have plenty of energy to make our spot. So you just ended up going a uh, slip and it maybe, if necessary, a lateral flare. Yeah. And then you can always make your spot. Ah. Right? Yep. <laughs> yep, that's true. I want... If you come in and you're over your spot, what is the FA way of making uh, the spot if you're already Probably over the top? a spiral. Okay, let's do a spiral because that is what it would be. So you're basically going over your spot at this altitude. Yep, maintain this altitude, slow down 70 oh, knots. Yeah. And we're, when it's over the spot, I will take the engine. Up to your left here, over your runway two, 1100 feet, 70 knots, zero VSI, just for the sake of this. And when we're over spot, you're going to lose your engine. You're going to do a 360. Yep. Well, I'm down to 1,000 now. Oh, sorry. RPM's dropping. Listen. Okay. This was not FAA approved right here. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? <laughs> FAA. Oh, it's, I, it's not going to happen, is it? No. Okay, let's go ahead and recover. We're going to go back up do the same thing at 500 feet. But FAA. All right. So again, we'll go right over a spot. 600 indicated, 70 knots. FAA, no slips, no... No slips, huh? No FAA techniques here. Just... Do everything opposite than what you've been teaching me to do, huh? For a very important reason, yes. And we're over a spot. Do the RPM drop, RPM drop. How's this working How out for you? How dare you do this okay, to me? Okay, engine recovery. <laughs> engine recovery, engine recovery. How does that work out for you? Now think about it in realistic terms. How's that going to work out for you? It's not going to work out very well. Okay, I agree. You're going to come in balling it and rolling it. Exactly. That was loud and annoying. So why don't we go ahead and set up for a different technique. Okay. There. And we'll wait until we're over a spot. So what do you want? Am I oh, going to do? You're flying. Okay. I'm just going to put some inputs in. So right here, okay. it's split. Oh, man. Well, how about this? Yeah. Slow down. Pedal turn. Yeah. Electrics all the way down. Yep. Come forward a little bit. And glide out. What you actually gained altitude in that That's right. over. Blowing your descent right there. But pedal turn. You're yep. not trying to stay in trim here. Yep. You're just going back and forth. What about this? A little easier, isn't it? Yeah. Your controls? Yeah, my controls. What do you think of that one? We well, made it. I think it was, uh, I think there's more margin for error Interesting. on that one. Interesting. So you like you didn't your keep your speed up, which means it seemed very slow. Didn't much, need to. much more, much longer to uh, work with. It was much more relaxing. Why it's much, so much more relaxed. And then here's the thing, though. There, with proper training of doing a 180 or a 360, and proper training of doing this method, you are still having a higher probability to mess up on the big old 360. You're leaving your spot. People yeah. always miscalculate that. They lose their spot. They lose their spot. They get low. You end up having a tailwind somewhere along the way, so they drop further than they expected. This 
this way, it's you so... You still have a tailwind. But it's not that you're going away from it with that tailwind dropping. Oh. So you're dropping further and getting further away from your spot. So about roughly 500 feet above ground, a little slower. Okay. We're about over our spot okay. here. Split, raise, pedal. Okay. Still over our spot. Yep, coming down. Just right there. And then I just slide it on that case. So today, because the temperature is a lot harder, but we still would, you know, we were still at our spot. It just yeah. would have been more of a slide on and a roll. Yeah. But that slow one. What do you think is slow versus high G turn with a lot of velocity to the ground? I'd rather tip over and just tip yeah. versus with yeah. still 60 knots coming in and the spiral towards the ground. I have controls. You have the controls. I have controls. The best option that exact scenario would be turn away, turn away, slow down, pivot, and then come straight into your spot, shoulders forward with the wind. Instead of trying to be lined up with your runway, yeah. be perpendicular. So coming over the trees. Yeah, coming over the trees, yes. But the thing is, just over the trees into your spot is going to be better than trying to extend. Yeah. And in other words, if you came down vertically stopped, That's even if you dropped 10 feet, you're still way better off. Yeah, they're rolling. Yeah. They get the fire. All right. So like do whatever faster. you want. Yep. Do whatever you want on this one. You have a lot of airspeed. Have a pillar, have a pillar, lower yeah. your collective. Try to keep it more level. Oh, okay. Just Staying up here longer. That's right. And then collective okay. still down. So just come forward. Yeah. And remember, you don't have to have it all the way slowed down. And you can turn. You, you can turn right there. Okay. RPM's good. Be yeah. high. Yeah, that's even. fine. Because we'll just get our energy back right okay. here. Coming on in. Little collective. You're gonna slip and then turn. And by the way, we're at our spot, right? And yep. stop. Your machine, take us on around. My machine. All gates still look good. But you see, as long as you don't lean the cyclic, all you're doing is, you don't have to be stopped. You can be at 40 knots. Yeah. Just don't be drawing 50, 60 knots. And then just put in that pedal. Just okay. pivot. Now you're going the right direction. And, and I really wanted to bring it over, which there's no point. That's correct. Because that would uh, that would just bring me down even faster. Exactly. Preserve that energy. Keep that disc level. Use your pedals. Turn. Now you're going away, and you maintain more altitude. And it's just, again, energy conservation. Doing the normal spiral to the spot is about the best way to descend quickly, other than getting in vortex ring state. I mean, seriously. Yeah. You, I mean, you can't. To maintain RPM and stuff, uh, there's not too many ways you can descend more quickly. Yeah. So again, over a spot, split, half, slow down. Now just start pedal turning. Oh, already. Leveling huh? it out. Now, why would you do this this far so you can start seeing? Now you can go out. Yeah. You're slowing it down, but yeah. see how much altitude you gain doing that. Yeah. Keep your RPM control, and remember, you don't have to dive or anything. You yep. keep it slow. Just keep it slow. And then whenever you want, just start pedal turning the other way. Remember, okay. don't try to lean that cyclic down. Ah, just pedal turning just, flat. Just yep. pedal turn. And then you can go for your airspeed when you want. Try not to stir. Yep, I felt that. And just, when you want, just keep that RPM up, and if you need to, slip. Try to stay not ah. in their house. Oh, yeah. Leveling off. I've got the RPM. Best one yet. Nice. Good job. Good job. Well, I would have well, saved that oh, yeah. and yanked it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Tails and again, if you're stopped, you can drop the helicopter and survive. Yeah. If you're rolling, that's the bad part. Yeah. And you're never losing your spot when you do that, by the yeah. way. You're so not yeah, leaving there. your airport environment. And there, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying as far as you don't need to turn all the time. You can just use the pedals and, you know, bring it around. And pivot. Pivot. Don't pitch. When initially you, what I was interpreting, that initial turn to not tip it as much. In your PIC, you're holding on yeah. the controls. I'll just maybe help you out yeah. on the first part again. And I'm We're flying a speed that I normally would be yep. flying. Yeah. At. And it's like engine failure. Split. Ah. Now you're slowing down. You can feel it coming. Now level it out. Okay. 
Okay, level. I'll click it all the way down. Yeah. And just come around. Okay. Try not to have quite as much nose. And then keep it collective okay. down. Just come forward a little yep. bit. Nothing aggressive. Yep. And you don't have to be going fast. Yep. Right? And then whenever you're feeling comfortable, you just pivot. Just remember, don't pivot too high, otherwise you've got a lot to lose. Yep. All right here, I ended up just kind of holding it back. Yeah. It's amazing, I'm only down to 700 feet. Yep. And then you can just start going for your airspeed when you feel yep. comfortable. Just remember, you've got to lower your collective at the same time yep. so you can maintain the energy. There you go, there you go. Leveling off. Leveling off. Lowering your collective. Then. And then try not to go backwards, but yeah. That technique makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. You, I mean, that's your second time actually doing it. Yeah. And you're already doing way better than that than the way you've been trained. The training is set up to fail. Exactly. Because you have to have everything so exact. That's right. That's why I like to teach my techniques, because with that, you had a that's lot your second of... time ever doing it, yeah. actually doing the maneuver. And you just did better than you did when you're trying to do the way that you taught, were taught from private. Yeah. So to me, that shows uh, a pretty viable technique then. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going downwind. Yep. All right. And we're over a feet. spot. Over a spot. Uh, I should have turned. What? I just don't have keep it level. Oh, that's keep right. Level. More level. And then pedal turn, you don't have to be in trim. Oh, yeah. And there uh, you go. Ah. No, you're still going to be able to make it work. And forward. There you go. Yeah, I should have gone forward earlier. The thing is, that one is still would have worked. You would not have tumbled in a real life yeah. in and out all the way down. First time you ever have done that one, yeah. and you successfully did it. That's a there pretty concept, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty neat. How would you like your engine to feel right here? Ah, there fine. you go. There you go. That's better. Because it can happen, right? Yeah. Level. Level. You're going to knock all these poor people's rice off. No, because I recover at a higher altitude. <laughs> Remember, if you're at that altitude, don't. level. Yeah. And just don't. I mean, just drop your collective. Yeah. Level. Don't go aft, because then you're going to lose all that energy for your bottom. And yeah. then when you're closer to 20, 30 foot range, that's where you're going to want to go into yeah. the immediate aft. You know, drop aft and level. So on this one, what do you need to do? Well, I'm going to now just pedal turn. Just come on down when you're uh, ready. Remember, don't start dropping too much. Just whenever you need to. Yep. Now cyclic forward. Collective. And just let it slip and point your slip. Okay, go just like that. Leveling out. Leveling out. And go forward whenever you want. You don't have to stay sideways if you don't want to. So challenging. That's why it's the whole energy triangle and not this. Here's a, what you need to do in this exact situation. So if your engine stopped right now, what would you do? Okay, so you just gained, you raised, I don't know if you noticed, but you just raised your collective there and then lowered it. Just letting you know. Okay, so, let's go ho the hold on here, hold on here. We're, yes, we're going to do this here. All right, personally, I would start coming up more, start coming forward, gaining some airspeed, and I keep on coming up so that as I'm up higher, then it's like, okay, split the same airspeed. I can go back like that and touch down. You'd still be sliding forward. Depending, because you got to remember, we're doing power recovery. Power recovery is totally different than yeah. no power recovery. Because like right here, I would normally be up about here. Okay. Settle, flare, and then you touch down, stop if you want. Power recovery, you got to always remember, yeah. power recovery is different. You have that coast because you're coming in with power. When you're still doing a flare, pull and pitch, and stopping, it is different. So yep. if you, you would have had, for, okay, your controls? I have controls. If you would have, for instance, somewhere around seven knots, as an example, of forward airspeed on a power recovery, you could definitely have that stopped with no engine. Because you're still, you know, you're like this, and then you're starting to pull pitch to cushion your landing. And as we continue to go a little faster, a little higher, 
there you go. Because you lose it here, you can you can truly just roll into it. Yeah. But at this altitude and this airspeed, it would be simply level, sink down, and then flare. Okay. Because otherwise you're losing all your energy up here, and then what? Oh, yeah, the that's true. Yeah. Got to save it for the bottom. Yep. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Over here in the wind. Nice choice, amigo. All right, power recovery. That's the part I was wanting to check. Good choice. Good choice. Not going around the tree. Good choice. That way you. Yep. Big stop. Stir. Ah. Okay, I know I can make it. Might as well get the RPM up then if you're gonna slip. Well, you know, it's easier. Much better. Much better. I could have reduced it. It wasn't low, but I could have reduced it some. You had to lose altitude, you had to lose energy. Yeah. Why not get it back, right? Now then you can have more rotor energy to send more to the altitude you want it to be anyway, instead of slipping. And that's just, yeah, you're going to slip, but it's just less now. And yeah. your RPM's higher, so that means you have that much more energy. What are you meaning then? Go ahead and finish talking to me. As you're doing well, that. Oh, no, it's, it's the, uh, it's yeah, the I see. Keep going. <laughs> Talk to me. It's, it's it's all what? about primacy too. So you know if you're not used to doing autos, Foot because steering. most twins uh -huh. you don't do auto training. Yep. Then of course you're gonna be like, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, exactly. A little forward. I could have gone more. Yeah, lateral movement, didn't you? Yeah. So you just had to do that lateral flare. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. No, it's like, uh, I don't know what you have uh, encountered in your, ex oh, nice on the grass. I like that timing there. I do my best. <laughs> no, like, uh, from my understanding, I mean, most companies that have twins, they don't do auto training. They don't do throttles. They, don't, they do one engine, but, you know, the odds are something, someone's going to get balled up in training. And, so and the of, odds are in your favor that it won't happen. Not in your favor, but in their favor. Yeah, there you go. That's the proper wording. We're going to really mix, mix things up here. I might okay. as well. Since you decided to come over here, I decided to do something to you. Well, ah, I'm just going to do Quit stirring. This. Make something happen. Well, I did that because you know why? <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like <laughs> trying to make up in my mind what I'm doing. So why raise the collective right there when your RPM is coming up? In that particular situation, I'm just curious. I think just maybe to catch it a little bit. Okay. But then I lowered it back down, so okay. you know. So why are you going to your spot when you're still this high and have to go slow? Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still off to the right. Oh, you'll make it work. All right. Ah, oh, I used to do that a little sooner. During. They are bam. Yeah. I was at the speed. I could have flared. So. That was me. I could. Well, see, and that's the thing. You are high, and it's kind of like high. you're accepting the fact that you're going to go past. Don't accept the fact. Put in more pedal. Take the energy out so you can make your I spot. Could've, yeah. Oh yeah. Do it again. Sounds I could have put in more pedal. Could have, could have been more pedal. What would that have done for you in that particular situation? That would have helped me come down a little bit more. That would have helped put the brakes on the rotor RPM. And, and which that? would have allowed me, in training environment, to there flare even harder without overspeeding. There you go. We know they have our engine on, pulling it. So what do you need to do? Well, to I'm not spot. going to. You want me to go the runway? I want you to try to make your spot. Tell me what you're going to do. I'm going to drop the nose and get the speed. Got the RPM there. So remember, pitch and Stop then don't. Stirring. Yep, just hold that steady and, clue, and only control your RPM with your collective, not the cycling. Yep. And make it a good auto rotation. Whatever it takes, make it a good auto rotation. We're above our max glide officially. Yep, and their max glide is incorrect. 
All right, so we're coming on down. Keep um, Yeah, no, so just gently start leveling out. Not much. Keep the RPM yep. down. Now, don't let it descend past here. Okay. And just do a good auto rotation. I'd probably do it here. Okay. Did you think you were going to make it that far? Well, I definitely could have if I had just sat there like, what do you want me to do? Exactly. Because so, I was already picked to field out where I would have done. Yeah. So the point of that yeah. one, the main reason I did that is to make it more difficult for you to make your spot. Yeah. I want you, when you realize, hey, this is probably not going to work out the way I would like to to get to my spot, finish the odd rotation. Yeah. So in other words, you can't make your spot. Who cares? Don't just try to extend, 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 and lower your RPM now. Crash. Yeah. Because now. Go ahead. Because most people, when you first do that with them, most people will try to extend so much, and then they allow themselves yeah. to keep on descending to the point where they can no longer do a flare. And, and you're forced splatting and going rolling and everything. Yep. At that point, you're forced. Stop stirring. Yep. Good job catching it that time. Okay, I know I can make my spot. I'm gonna reduce the collective. A little slip here. Oh, look at her. She's getting off the runway. She was running there for a second. Yep. So you're gonna be high. Yeah, I'm gonna be a high. Put in the pedal. Oh, come on. Drop it down. Take your spot. Right? Because you would have still been higher than our rotor blades are. I would have had that so smooth though. I was gonna come. <laughs> You would have come in smoothly, been up high, about treetop level, and then what? <laughs> the energy you had at that altitude, uh, the RPM that you had, there, other than doing that slip, there's no way yeah. to make that spot. You would, could have. You would have been up high. And then you would have just come down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yes, I'm talking about with a good outcome. <laughs> okay. I, I think it's a matter of, you know, we get our level off, but then I I, I forget that I, I still need to ultimately come down to my flaring altitude. That's correct. What's and the that's point? why it's like, why do I want to, I think that's the mind block right now of why I don't want to do that as much because then it's like, whoa, I'm really low, but I yep. I think because I'm not used to the 50 foot level off, that, well, that and again, that depends on the descent rate, right? Yeah. What is the point of the level off again? To see how the rest of the auto will go. Your energy involved, energy. your rate of descent. That's right, exactly. So if you have a high rate of descent, you better start leveling off closer to 100 feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't. Don't ever get complacent about the particular level off altitude. It's totally dependent. Like if we were at a higher descent rate, at a slower airspeed, man, we better start leveling off soon, right? Yeah. How's this one gonna work? Well, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, a little past my spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. I, I was processing. <laughs> I was, but I did it. I did it. Yes, you did. Yeah. So why did you get that higher descent rate at the bottom? Uh, we can talk, hold on here. All right, everything looks good. The higher descent rate at the bottom. Why did you have to catch it harder at the bottom on that one? Are you referring to like after I slipped? Yes, so you slipped, you flared, then you had a decent descent rate you had to catch. Why, what was that? I had a long ways to go. Okay. So on that other one, you know when I was saying about getting forward? That's where you raise your collective, get going forward, but then reduce it again to maintain RPM. Yeah. On that other one. Just try not to come all the way to zero, uh, though. Yeah, because you then, start getting that descent And then there. you can raise your collective early yep. to start getting okay. that airspeed, then lower to maintain, but now yep. you're going forward. Yeah. Just remember, don't stir. Yeah. And you can extend it out by raising your collective. Here you have fun energy, just lower. Finish it off here and go into your slip. Right? You still have the controls. Stay on the pedals. Okay. You still have the controls. I, I never. Well, I'm sorry, that was nothing I, I was planning on doing right there. Well, why not? That's what you needed to do. And to go vertical or uh, all the way backwards like that. What would your RPM have done? It would have gone up too high. Okay. So that's why we would have done that. 
Okay. Yeah. And it's not being careless. It's it's a spin is a controlled maneuver. The pedal work afterwards suffered. Well, well that's because <laughs> At that point, I was like, well, you got it. But yeah, you never verbalized it. I, I so. have never said that yes, I have it. I said, I will put in inputs. You're going down. You're going to get low RPM, all that kind of good stuff. So, how's this one going to work? I'm going to make my spot. Okay. Oh, come on. RPM sync rate looks good. How about a little high? Hey, there you go. No, I, but see, I'm using my collective to stop. Yes, sir. That's the wrong, that bad thing, because then I'm really going to be in a bag of trouble. That's correct. Ah. <laughs> Here's a cool thing. You've reached the point of knowing that. Ah. Because, seriously, that's a it's high advancement compared, because, and again, I'm not knocking anybody. Let's do one more. Okay. But if you don't recognize that, yeah. then that's even more dangerous. I appreciate you reminding me about the sync rate because, you know, a lot of what we're doing here is uh, bite-sized pieces, you know, slowly building. But like you said, you get into a higher DA. Yep. And it has to be something that you're processing all the time. That's right. So yeah. when you get into that environment or A environment, which may not be even really a high DA, yep. you still need to be processing that. Correct. Try not to stir. Ah. If you're going to make an input, just try to make an input and add more or less when necessary, but try not to get too carried away with it. Yeah. Nice. That was your best one. That was your best and one. And I really wasn't doing the collective there. No, you, you did what you were supposed to do on that one. That was a good job. All right, let's end on that note.